The FMS Reflex version 2 gyro has three different flight modes in it. They call it an optimized, which is like Spectrum's AS3X. And then they have a stabilized, which is like Spectrum's Safe Select. And then they have off. And when you buy an airplane that comes with the Reflex, it also comes with a USB program cable. So supposedly we can download a computer program and change the airplane profile inside of the reflex pretty easily. So let's say that you uh, bought the 1220 millimeter Ranger that came with the reflex and you got tired of flying that plane or just whatever and then you picked up a FMS Pitts maybe second hand and it didn't have a reflex or any anything inside of it. So you want you can take your reflex out of your Ranger put it in the FMS Pitts use this program cable and change the airplane profile to the pits. Supposedly it's pretty easy and uh, it says the download takes two minutes and so on. So I say we put the computer up on the TV and we'll do it real quick and that way uh, if you want to uh, do it sometime you can see how it all plays out. So I guess we'll get the laptop out. I'm Sean Griffin RC Planes. Hang on a minute guys. If you want to win a jet like this, all you have to do is subscribe, click the like button, and leave a comment, and then uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. At 1,000 subscribers, we gave this jet away. At 5,000, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So hey, subscribe guys. Happy flying. All right, the first thing I did is went to FMS's website. That's www.fmsmodel.com. They got it, uh, fmshobby.com. Either way, you get there. And then I scroll down to the very bottom. And in this list down here, it says uh, FMS Technology. And then that brings you to the page that we're on. And right here, it says Reflex version 3 software download uh, file so let's click on it and see what uh, what it does okay I finally got the uh, finally got the download so now <clears throat> extract the folder and uh, okay and okay once you download it this will show up and it says to click on the FMS param. We'll click two times and now it's uh, opening it up and so on. We'll see what happens here in a minute. So what do we have here? Welcome to the FMS model world. This is the version 3.0. I guess this is newer. And uh, their direction said when you get to uh, this screen to plug up the USB cable to your computer. Alright, I'll put you guys back on the big TV in a minute, but it says that once you get to this screen on the uh, on the FMS Reflex, it says to plug up the you know, provided USB cable. and then to plug it into the reflex okay I'm gonna plug in the reflex again and I'll show you guys how it initializes all by itself see down here in the bottom right -hand corner it says USB disconnected and in this graph here it's basically basically got a flat line you don't want to see a flat line but you take your reflex and your USB and once you plug it in there watch down here USB connection and now we can start seeing some uh, <laughs> they brought us back to life boy the other the, the shock treatment did it so now our reflex is connected to this FMS uh, reflex program I've never used this before I've never seen it it 
also says that this uh, reflex has the uh, the 1220 millimeter Ranger on it and it says software date uh, August 19th 2022 that's interesting because today is August 19th which is also my birthday by the way and it says that this reflex has the version 3.0 in it already and it has a serial number so that's pretty cool and it looks like over here on the left is the list of planes that you can uh, choose from which we'll start at the top here it's got a pretty good list of so there's the pits that I have and I'm just kind of scrolling through them real quick there, there's the beaver that I have a10 there's our 1220 millimeter ranger it's highlighted in blue and uh, let's see if we can find that the 1700 millimeter uh, p51 right here I'm actually working on some custom touch-up paint for that airplane right now. It's quite uh, quite the challenge to match up some of those metallic colors. I talked about changing the Ranger to the uh, 1400 millimeter pit, so let's do that. So let's, uh, let's click it. And um, how do we uh, make it uh, that airplane. Maybe you just click on it and unplug it. Let me verify that real quick. Hang tight. Okay, if you want to change the plane, you need to double click it and it'll give you a choice to verify it. So double click the pits and over here, FMS Prim Update, click OK. So we're changing it right now. So now it still says Ranger right here. And maybe it's still installing it because it says a Ranger. Still says the Ranger. Maybe I didn't click OK. I just double clicked it. OK. There we go. So now the reflex has a 1400 millimeter Pitts V2. We need to put it back to the Ranger. So we will do that. Here's the 1220 millimeter Ranger right here. Double click and OK. Now it's back to the Ranger. So that's pretty easy. But you need to find out where to mount the reflex in the airplane so that the gyro works in the correct orientation. You know, you have to mount the, the reflex exactly how it needs to be mounted. So it looks like installation instructions, you can click right here. And it gives you a great picture. Look at that. So looking at the airplane, it has it all set up. Let's do our pits again. Okay. Now we have the pits and instructions are just like that shows you exactly where to mount it so that is really cool so if you want to change it like I just said many times it's not that hard to do now and the gyro installation instructions are in here as well hey well that was painless so once you go to their website and click on the uh, reflex version 3 now and your computer will probably automatically bring it to where you can click on the uh, V param whatever it's the bottom of the list you, once you click and you download it, all the FMS stuff about the reflex there's like five things in a list and the very bottom it says V param click that and that's when it pops up and then plug in the USB cable and then plug in the reflex and not too shabby so might uh, might be a little tricky getting directly to where where we were each computer is gonna be a little different on if you have to unzip the particular file or if your computer is going to do it automatically you know that's how you have it set up what was really cool is also on their website there where you where we clicked uh, you know download the version 3 right above that was a couple how-to videos on using this software so I referenced back to that real quick to learn so hey you get a Ranger you get tired of flying it then you pick up a Pitts you can swap out the uh, 
software rather quickly. So, all right, guys. Hey, thank you so much. Subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. Share the videos with your friends. And happy flying. Until next time, you'll see me here.